Hi, today I will benchmark uh, two small programs that allow us to find the middle element of a list. And uh, I will put all data in this uh, chart so we can compare. So we have the algorithm that would like to find the size of the whole list, divide by two, and then uh, return the element at the middle index. And then we have the fast and slow, where we will iterate the linked list in parallel, well not in parallel, but like in each uh, iteration of the loop. And we will move one pointer one uh, time each time, and the other pointer will move twice as fast. And uh, when the fast pointer reach the end of the list, we can return the slow pointer, which would be at the middle of the list. So these are the basic two algorithms. So if we look at them, we have uh, this implementation. So this create the list and we'll set that to one element because that's the first uh, thing to test. And then we have the middle head algorithm, which takes the head of the list and would return a node and the uh, slow and fast would do the same. So they're uh, the same in that regard. And then the middle head will assume I will assume we'll take the first element as the head, set the size to zero, then iterate through the whole list and increment the size each time I source an element, and then divide the size by two, which would give the index of the mid middle elements. So now we have to iterate again. So we reset the pointer to the head, and we iterate until we reach the midpoint, and when it's done, we can return the, the element we are pointing to. <laughs> Slow and fast is uh, using two pointers, so we need two variables for this one. And as you see, it's a loop that will break only if there is no more next element. And there we have to do the check twice because yeah, we move twice and we can fall on uh, missing elements between the two moves, so these two ifs are required. As soon as we can't move forward, we break. What that means, that means that the slow pointer would not be set and and will still remain on the element it was in the previous iteration. So it will only move if we can move two elements. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. Uh, we have the second check because we, f we move fast twice as fast. So we have that second check to check if we did land to an empty element and if it's the case we can return that uh, element. So basically it will return the middle. So that's how it works. So for the test we will use uh, only one element so that's why so that would be uh, two. Uh, maybe I should do this and uh, this and then uh, there i would say right this one this is not uh, benchmarked so we don't care about the implementation of this part okay so there the benchmark you see that it stopped the timer before creating the list because that's easy as an operation and then it will stop the timer and do some iteration. That's the Golang benchmark. So it will do more and more iteration and do an average, which is how you should do benchmark. So not to just run it once, but, but multiple times. And that is handled for us. So let's run with uh, the Go bench. And then <coughs> we have this number. So middle middle head, we have this number. And uh, slow and fast, we have this number. <coughs> so we can see something, but yeah, it's not very uh, concluding because it's just for one element, so we should not uh, really interpret that. Okay, let's put a bit more. So 
So now we have 10 elements. We can see that there are some uh, difference there. Now I will start to copy the numbers. So we are, we are with 10,000. And there, yeah, okay, I, will, I will still copy it. So it's a logarithmic, logarithmic scale, kind of. So you can see that the computer struggle a bit more, obviously, because that's more data. And these numbers are fancy, yeah? so like uh, you, you rarely deal with that unless uh, you are doing big data stuff. Huh? Okay, so what <coughs> what we can see is that the orange one does much better, much, much, uh, much uh, not much better, but takes much time than the gray one. So because that's nanosecond per operation, and you, you can see that is uh, more. And now we can do a ratio. So it's middle and fast and slow. So it's how slow is middle compared to that. And we, sa we see it's two times, one time, half, one, one and four, one and four, one and four. And so for 100 elements, there is something wet. So let's try this one again, because that's fishy. So. 71 nanosecond per up and 102 which is yeah what so why would that one uh, take much less time when it's 100 and then if we so if i relaunch it Yeah, so there is a sweet spot for that one. Uh, so 100 is the sweet spot. And for all the other uh, values, yeah, it's the worst case. So for some reason, 100 is perfect. As you can see, it's much better. But for all the other input size, yeah, the the so this one is it's a special case, and for the all other stuff, it's much slower. You can see one that four times uh, slower, two the two times slower. So yeah, that's uh, so. You should prefer uh, if you are if you are not using somewhere around 100 element, then fast and slow is much better. And that's what we can conclude from from it. And now, if you look at the code more in details, 
So, what is low there is probably this addition. So if I copy this over, let's say uh, I would set the size to zero and increment the size. Let's try to put it at the start of the loop. Now maybe I will tie the two. No, still, still uh, head to head. So let's put more zeros. Okay, so fast and slow is still uh, faster. So now what we need to do is do the size division. Yeah, but I have doubt that uh, it does something. Still much faster. So yeah, probably that this is uh, removed. So now what we can do to have uh, real details inside is to see on the CPU what is taking the most time there. So yeah, so I will do that. So now we have this uh, I cycle, which is not very useful. I thought it would show the uh, line by line stuff. Okay, so yeah, we don't have much information. So what we should we do is like uh, decompile uh, this in assembly and profile each instruction. But yeah, overall, slow and fast is much, fa much faster. That's what we are interested in. And it's for um, Golang, obviously. But yeah, we can bet that C would give the same speed. So yeah, that's the answer to what is the fastest. It's slow and fast, unless you are around 100 elements. And that's specific to Go. So yeah, each language has uh, its quirks. Huh? So maybe if I would do that in Python, that would be different and in C maybe different. So each time you need to benchmark those. Also, we see that yeah, it's straightforward. There is no more, uh, nothing complex in there. And this is probably not the best uh, implementation of it. And this, I don't see what to improve uh, because yeah, it seems like it's good. So it's like good to probably bad and bad still win. So yeah, how fast is very fast. And that, that's very counterintuitive. So most people will say this one is much faster because it only deal with ink uh, or add one. And there is only one division and that's not even a division. It's, it's a right shift and that's like really speedy. But the thing is at the CPU level, this size, uh, that like this right shift or divide by two, which would be optimized or right shift, it has a latency of seven cycles. So that means that, yeah, this line has to wait seven cycles for that. There, it's everything is moves. And so that means it's like one cycle. So that's very fast, but there is much more instruction there but still not like uh, enough than to, to compensate for that. So what we could do is, uh, yeah, let's check that. So maybe command this one. And, uh, and iterate until size. Ah, no, no, because that would be size, uh, yeah. So that would be uh, unfair, so let's, iterate until half this. Mm. 
it would be let's say it would be that yeah let's do that so now the size is just incremented but it's not uh, it's not used uh, for the calculation so we, we win some uh, speed and uh yeah no it's still much slower so what's the that's interesting so yeah would that be this uh size thing okay let's remove everything related to size so now we have literally two loops and nothing more and uh yeah that looks like uh so fast huh? so that's because there we have one loop that would do save next twice and there we have two loops that are going to the next element but this one is only iterating it until the middle of the list so i mean it's like very close huh? now yeah the middle head should win huh? Okay, so that's not the so the, that's not the, 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 the that has nothing to do with the inner of the loop. That's literally the two loops that are making the issue. Because okay, so yeah, there is a there is a new variable there too. Yeah, and there there is not this uh, this counter, and and there there is a yeah there is a comparison that is made each time, and it's uh, less than, <laughs> and this there is just an equality check, but yeah, <coughs> this should take the same uh, thing because it's using uh, CMP and flex. <laughs> but also. Yeah, that's uh, the thing. There we would have uh, G, uh, <laughs> G, uh, G, yeah, fine, G, E, G, E, G, E. So jump on an if equal. And there we have that G, E, so that's, that would match this one. But there we have also a jump. Because this can be rewrite, you know? so I could do a for like this. So this is the equivalent to uh, So these two loops are equivalent, so uh, we, we loop forever and, and then if i is greater than this or equal, then we break the loop and then we increment. <laughs> and uh, my recall, my recall, so <laughs> They are equivalent, but not. No, that can't be that. <laughs> so that's uh, interesting because now they are going very close to each other. So let's let's uh, dump some zeros there. Okay, so we gained an, uh, an insight. <laughs> Okay, so now what I need to check is that the result is the same on uh, both sides because maybe I did change the semantic. So I will try to uh, see what's the value of this. Uh, 
Okay, so now I can uh, Yeah, it's a bit a uh, lot of uh, Kintalana, but uh, <coughs> We'll go with that ah, Okay, so this one says 501 and this one says 5000 <coughs> So Why? Why would that go to the end of the... Ah, yeah, yeah, correct, correct. So, yeah, that's correct. So we need to pick that number. Let's try again. Okay, so this one, this one iteration more, so... Okay, so now, ah, oh, oh, that's uh, like uh, not good. Why do it? <laughs> Let's fix that. So now they are doing the same number of iterations. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're doing the same. So I can remove the print. And rerun. Yeah, so now Nidalad is much slower for some reason. Ah yeah, okay, then, uh, okay, then I was not doing the right comparison. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because, yeah, that was where then just rewriting the loop would make it, like, blazing fast. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the two loops are indeed the same uh, construction. So, yeah, that's, no, there is no way to... Uh, And you see that now we compare with a uh, number, and there we compare with nil. And this loop will iterate through the whole list. And this, this uh, two, but it has to do one full iteration and then another. So, yeah, that's and that's what one and half. So full iteration and then half iteration, and this one is one iteration. So, yeah, and that that just two moves. So that's like it's not doing a uh, any iteration of anything. It's just two moves. It's which are very fast. So yeah, and when we look at the data, the data really shows that it's what is predicted uh, one one uh, and half. Uh, beside uh, this. That's probably because the setup is uh, heavy, but when you are in big number, then yeah, you are closer to one and four. So maybe let's try to add uh, one and three there. Uh, yeah, no, I should not copy, obviously. Okay, and there uh, we would add... Uh, Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And then uh, we need to change the... Okay. And there we will put back everything because that wasn't uh, significant. So. Okay. And there... Uh, to what we had before. 
Okay, let's let's do this. Yeah, now it's like uh, I'm asking a lot. Huh? So I do it. Uh, yeah, it was like uh, a few seconds times one hundred. Yeah, I think um, yeah, that's uh, that would take uh, over. So that was not a good uh, idea. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's let put a uh, one. Let's do a uh, one, two, three, dot five, six, seven. Like this maybe. I know one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, so yeah, we could add one then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's take this. And try again. So yeah, that's better. Okay, first one true. And now we have one that six, so I will rerun the bench. But also, there is more pressure on memory since. Uh, I'm feeling it much more, but uh, yeah, okay. I think it's the same uh, ballpark. Yeah. Ah no, so it's it's better there. So with very huge numbers, we start seeing some uh, variation. Yeah, it's it like uh, it looked it like uh, crazy. Yeah. So yeah, it's around this uh, value. Huh? So yeah, that's that's uh, very intuitive, counterintuitive, unless you just say yeah, but there is two loops, so it's twice and then uh, twice and then alpha. But this one there is only one loop, so it would be only one time, and yeah, because that's really just making moves and and jumps, and this one is like doing a the jump, the counting, the move, and then the other does the move until it. Uh, but each time it has to do a CMP. So we have this CMP, this CMP with the ink, and there the CMP are in the middle of the loop. So the CMP we can discard them, and then we have moves, moves, moves versus add and move <laughs> so yeah that's the thing voila voila that was the benchmark in detail fine details